guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nomi Moore. And today I'm gonna to be sharing uh, little tips and tricks on painting artificial nails for drag. It can be cumbersome and what I used to do is uh, duct tape and I used to place the nails on the duct tape and paint them and it worked but it was cumbersome and it was a nuisance. And I found these little um, doohickey things on Amazon that have really changed um, how easy it is for me to be able to paint artificial nails in advance. So I'm going to show you uh, a couple things that I use to make it even easier and hopefully it'll help you guys um, kind of build up your arsenal of artificial nails. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is this sort of like modular caddy. Uh, I'll put the link for this and everything that I use in the description box down below. But I love this thing because you can get it in all different sizes. You can stack them up as much as you want. And they have these little clips here. And it comes off just like that. And then each one unsnaps. So you just have this like stacked level of compartmentalization to keep things organized, which I love because I'm, I'm a neat freak. And um, it helps to also, once you get all of your nails painted, you, you can paint many, many sets all at once, and then you've got all these little compartments to keep them separate and organized. So I really like that. And then you have the actual tool for placing your nails, and these are not the nails. These are actually little holders that come with this, and you snap them on to create the base that you put your nail on. And then you might be asking, well, how do you keep the nail on? Museum putty. Um, this stuff is fantastic, and what I do is I just take a little teeny tiny bit of the museum putty, and then I put it right on the nail plate like that, the base, and then I take my artificial nail, and then I press that on right on top of it. And it's not a super fast hold like super glue or nail glue where you won't be able to get it off, once the nail is dry, you can just easily, oops, pop it off and drop it on the floor just like that. So you saw that I have like a claw nail. I also have these like instant French tip nails, which is nice if I want a French tip, it goes on easily, creates a nice cool French tip. And if I want a colored nail that's a little bit more natural than say like these bigger claw nails or coffin nails, which I, um, by the way, if, you want uh, like a claw nail and a coffin nail, you don't have to buy both. Get the claw nails, and I'll put the link for these in the description box down below, but you get the claw nail, and then you just snip off the tip, and you have a coffin nail, super easy. So uh, sometimes though, you just want a more natural looking nail. I like these little square tip ones. If I'm in a hurry, I just pop on the French tip. If I have a little bit of extra time, then I can also paint those. But uh, I'm going to be working with uh, the claw tip today. So we just fasten that on there with the museum putty and it's ready to be painted. And you just take a little bit of your nail polish. Um, this is OPI nail lacquer and the color is Topless Beach. I'm even thinking maybe I might do like an OPI nail lacquer giveaway. Um, if you guys are interested in that, comment down below. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And um, I'll put together um, a little collection of nail colors, um, maybe about four to six nail colors. Just let me know what colors you guys would most, most be interested in. If you want like a neutral palette or uh, a punky palette or like a combination of both, like half and half. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and paint the nail. I'm just gonna hold it up like this um, so that I can show you how easy it is to paint the nail even when working against gravity rather than just working down on, on the tabletop. So I just take a little bit of my polish. I like to start in the middle of the nail and then I just kind of push and work the product up and then these claw nails are quite big, so you do need a, a, a decent amount of product. So that's it. That's how easy it is to paint a nail on one of these little um, nail holder doodaddy things. And it's still a little wet, but I'll show you just when you're done. Boom, you just pull it off, and then you put it in your case, 
and you, you're ready to go the next time uh, you do drag or you're doing an event where you need a little bit of an extra nail. Um, the other tip I have for you is these little like nubby stick'em things. Um, when I first started doing drag, Kiss made these nails that were like instant manicure and they had the stick'em already on the nail because I hated using nail glue because it hurts so much to take it off. Um, and then they kind of went away or they were just hard to find. But then I saw these things just popping up online. And once again, I'll put a link for everything down below. Um, but these are great. Now they're not going to be as strong as nail glue. So if you've got a lot of costume changes, um, if you're doing a lot of numbers at a show, these might not be the best. But if you're just kind of going out or for photo shoots, they're wonderful because it's a great way to secure the nails without actually having to rip or damage your own nails when you take them off. If you are using a nail glue or a super glue, um, put a sheer coat of clear nail polish on your own bed, now on uh, your own nail bed, let it dry completely, then put your drop of glue on the nail and then put your nail on top of that. It will still hold, but when it comes time to take them off at the end of the night, you won't take layers of your own nail off, you'll take a layer of that top coat of polish off. So those are my tips and tricks for nails. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to like or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.